Alex and Jake remain stuck on the island with no apparent way out, even though Alex has been trying. So I suppose it's time to just give up. Did you find a way out? Nope, I give up. Ah, well, we'll get off this rock soon enough. Might as well make the most of it. Doing what? It doesn't look like there's a lot to do on the island. And <laughs> no way off. Well, at least you get a pretty sunset. Where'd you get those beers? <laughs> I'm kind of surprised this place has alcohol. I know, isn't it the best? Alex, listen. We spent a lot of time together now. Yeah, how much time has passed? It wasn't just the one day, right? <laughs> I guess so. I feel like I know everything about you. Well, he also could be talking about the time they spent together in town. Except, well, it feels like you've still got a secret. Probably just the one. I don't, honestly. But even if I did, who's to say I know all yours? Hey, I'm an open book. Are you dying? What? No. Well, do you have some other kind of sickness? Something not life-threatening? A strange rash? No. <laughs> Is this all just his, like, death dream or something? Do you reckon I could jump it? Huh. Probably not. Are your clothes dry yet? Almost. I said you couldn't jump it. <laughs> you still dared me, though. It was funny. I know. Are you illiterate? Yes, I'm reading this novel for the pictures. <laughs> Although, if I keep reading in the dark, I might go blind. Now will you stop asking? I'll stop asking when I find out what you're hiding. Do you have a cousin who collects used band-aids? What? No. Also, yuck, I'm eating. I think I'm part of an ancient house of gods, though. Heh. <laughs> sure. So am I. Of whatever, I was serious. Are you addicted to sugar? Yeah, what did he just put in his mouth? Was that like a little bag of sugar? <laughs> I mean, maybe. No. Yes. <laughs> Meh. Not really a secret. Food here is so good. You'd think I'd get sick of it. You know? Because it's endless. But no. Oh, maybe that's it. Are you this place's chef? Secretly off cooking up a storm? What the flip are you talking about? I realized that was really dumb as soon as I heard myself say it. Oh, wait, you were serious? I have no clue where the food comes from. The void, maybe? Chapter 3, The Pathway Home. Are you depressed? Probably. Hmm, I don't think you're depressed. Are you gay, Alex? Is that it? Oh, so he... I Okay, he hadn't told him that. I guess that makes sense because, you know, he was chased away from where he used to live. <laughs> yeah, I think so. That's okay. Do you love me? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man, just come right for it, huh? That's okay. Okay, this is the part where you say you're also gay and you... <laughs> Are you? Sorry. Oh. 
あーSienna's being helpful. Things must be worse than I thought. Peggy? Are you okay? Hello? Oh, Marge, I thought you were getting better. Marge? Nora, you're back. What's wrong with them? She got to them. No, not her. What, what she unleashed. Oh, not, no, not her. What she unleashed. Okay, not. Gotta fix my reading there. <laughs> so it has my book? It does. We're near the end, again. You have to stop it. But how? The books are gone. We've lost control. All the sendings have the spooky face. Move, please. At least they still follow orders. Welcome back, Nora. You. I see you have all three books. So I guess we've already lost. Where is it, Nora? Where's what? You know exactly what I'm talking about. We both know I'll never tell you. The great houses are waking up again. They will stop you. Do you know who destroyed the great houses? Oh, you don't? It was us. And now, they are waking up? What? A handful of beginners with the flux? We won when there were thousands. When those using the flux had practiced for hundreds of years, during our imprisonment, we did not get weaker. And we are nearly free. Why are you doing this? To fulfill our purpose. To do what the Megamancers built us to do. They never built you to destroy the world. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Either way, I'm doing it because... Well. My soul has mixed reviews. Now. I hope you don't have any bad memories. senses it. Something's going on. Or he senses her. Huh. Take him. Damn it, I just fell asleep. Jake? You know, I've come here a few times since you got here. While you were sleeping, of course. I remember thinking you looked so... radiant. But now, well... I suppose he's not like you, is he? Where is Jake? I took him away. His family was causing me trouble, and well, they'd eventually find him here. Also, I have a feeling Jake might be a... Well, you don't need to know what. You don't want to know what. I'm afraid I have to go. I don't think anyone will find you here. You've been very useful to me this past little while. If you ever get off this rock, let me know. I'm sure I can find a way to make use of you again. Oh, fight time? Oh, okay. No. Alex has not much island he could be hiding on. Can't believe it. Jake's gone.
do you do then? You're just all alone for who knows how long. The dude you've been spending all your time with, who you're also in love with, and just <laughs> told him so, is gone. Okay, Alex, you gotta at least eat. It's you. What do you want? Oh, that's the, the one that puts books back wrong. Oh, hey. Solve? Peggy? What is going on here? Save the town folk. Hey, solve. Oh. oh. Is it gonna be a going through their minds sort of thing to save them? Am I back in Dead World? No, it's different somehow. Nora, are you okay? I'm so tired. She's been saying that for ages now. Solve, what's going on? Well, M sent us here somehow. Anyway, Mom started to build that bridge down there. But as soon as she started, she got really tired. Do you think you could try to finish it? I'll do my best. This? This bridge? Oh, those are invisible. Okay. Can I, like, poof these or something? Yeah, I've got all the pieces, but how to... Nora? She's just tired. Oh, this one. Okay. You gotta do them in order. Not that one? No. Oh, because they've got the they've got the markings on them. I see. All right, I'm a little slow on the uptake, but I'll get there. I think these are very light, basically styrofoam. How are you feeling, Mom? I'm still so tired. Is there? Wine? <laughs> Seriously? Right? She hasn't seen me for years and she wants wine? So tired. Okay, fine, I'll look for your wine. <laughs> there was some over on my side of the rift. Well, that's convenient. There we go. Brought you a whole dang bottle, Nora. Drink up. Let's talk to Saul first. Oh, yeah. Oh my goodness! Alexander, you found wine! And my son! God, it perked her right up. How could I ever thank you? Oh, goodbye. Ready to go. <laughs> Solve? I'm not tired anymore. Were you scared? Sometimes. I set a plate for you every time I ate. That seems wasteful, I know. I saw your lanterns, but I, I didn't know they were from you. I thought you'd given up on finding me. Never, not for a second. I love you, Mom. I love you too. I'm so happy. I'm so happy we're together. Now let's get stuck into this wine. <laughs> or you're all right. Can I go back in? Hello, Solve? Still isn't responding. Oh, we gotta check out what's going on with her. Oh, are we gonna see, like, a sp spirit of Heather in there again? Oh, Marge. Shop's not doing so well. Oh, Alexander, you're here. Can you help me? Every time I pick something up, I feel so drained. Maybe if all of Heather's stuff was gone, I'd feel better. It's taking all my energy just to stand up. Pick up her, her leaves, all her plants. Oh, we can really reach there too. It's all gone. Why do I still feel so tired? 
I know, it's these clothes. That's it, they're coming off. Oh goodness, please don't. Is it safe to open my eyes again? Will it ever be safe to open my eyes again? Oh, please, don't be such a prude. You can open your eyes now. Whew. I feel a little better. Ooh. I'd forgotten all about that room. Why in other where was it hidden? Ah, don't worry about it. <laughs> Aren't you coming? Only if you promise to keep your clothes on. Hmm. No. Damn it. <laughs> gonna get in there and this is gonna be saggy tits everywhere. Oh, this must have been where they lived together. Ah. It's all still here. Oh, she kept her copy. I always thought she'd thrown it away. Oh, it was her old... Okay, it was her shop. It was Heather's shop, not Marge's shop, that we were cleaning up. I thought there were still things in Marge's shop that she was unable to like let go of, but we're just going through Heather's house now. An artist came through town and painted us together. That was before our last fight. You know what, Alex? M's got me all wrong. Heather and I, we loved each other. She might be gone now, but we are at peace. I don't need to throw her away. I'm fine. Oh, did we just help poor Marge to come to terms with the death of her love? Hello, Peggy? Alexander? Did Em trap you in here too? I, I don't think so. No matter, I need your help. Not again. What is it? Everything is fading away. And Peggy... Peggy's fading with it. Please, Alexander, we have to help her. There are books hidden all over the place. Collect them and put them in these shelves. It's her only hope. Oh, the plant is gone. Is that a... No, that's just the wall. It said hidden all over the place. Oh, no. Huh? What? Oh. Okay. Do we need the rest of these open or... Oh. What's that? Oh, that's just the door. <laughs> Yeah, I got one. On Sundays, we'd start the day drinking coffee in bed. Just the two of us. Perfection. Oh, goodness, it's working. Assume the books are out here. Oh, is this... We're in a different town. Is this where she was traveling before? Oh, flip. Can't let these sendings get inside. Hey, fuck you, buddy! Oh, oh not quite. <laughs> there it was. I mean, I've strayed very far from the door. Man, one of them could have snuck in already. Oh! No! Hey, you up here. What? Got him. Oh, I guess I should actually look around. This stall is wet. No books, thankfully. Oh, the whole stall. Okay. There's nothing in here but cheese. Good cheese. I might take this box with me. Hey, look, a switch. I wonder what that did. 
wonder indeed. There is nothing in here. This box is full of magazines. Why print a magazine when you could print a comic? Right? True questions of... <laughs> Why would you need a whole stall just to sell eye patches? Maybe there are a lot of pirates. Nothing? A switch? Not gonna talk about what's in this box of dildos. Hey, there's a book here. All right. Cream colored stall that seems to sell cream. The smell is loud? Is it possible for a smell to be loud? Maybe metaphorically. But I guess this is like some kind of memory world. Is there anything on here on this side? Nope. Okay, that is just that stall. We'd make pancakes for breakfast. My goodness, we'd make such a mess. Blueberry for me, banana for you. Oh, they disappeared. Oh no, they're fading again. Please keep trying, Alexander. Well, I've looked in all three places. Was there anything else I could have looked at in here? It's nothing. Oh, oh, hey. We'd walk through the market, taking our time to look at anything that took us. We were never in a rush. In the afternoon, we'd go for a walk with the sunset. She's nearly back. I can feel it. This room have anything else in it? It's just a wall of... Oh, now that's just the door again. Okay, there were those switches. The boxes with these things. What that switch did. But you. Oh, no. I can see the cream colored stall from there. Did I check that? No, oh, eye patches. Nothing else. Okay. By not, by not noticing. Um, I guess I'll wander around and try to find where this is and cut back when I found it. Well, I don't think that I was meant to do this. <laughs> I just... Oh, is that all? <laughs> That's all blocked off. None of this actually has collision back here. I, um... I was able to squeeze through a little part right here thinking I might find something back there. <laughs> Alright, anyway, continuing to search.
Well, I ran around and I was mashing the A button, trying to just search anything and everything, and apparently this one box back here is different from the rest of the stall. <laughs> so I found the book. Time to continue. Sundays were always my favorite days. I wish I'd spent every one with you. I'm sorry we spent so much time apart. But you know, I don't regret it. We let each other grow. It felt important at the time. Looking back, I'm so glad we did. We are so lucky we'll have something to miss. Also, I noticed Peggy's portrait has um, fully brown hair, but her sp like walking around sprite has that bit of like that wisp of white hair. Peggy? Oh. Oh, I don't know if we saved Peggy. She's really gone this time. That's it. I've had enough. Where is M? The abandoned building. There's that sending again. Hey, you! Can you hear me? It's gonna, or I'm gonna try to follow it. What is this place? There must be something up there. Or someone. The K? Yeah. K. Oh, hello, Alexander. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What were you looking at? It's easier if I just show you. Come here. Don't worry, I won't bite. Anymore. the nature of this building. Urgh, it gets so cold here. It never snowed in Silver Pine. Okay, that's M. Where is this? Shouldn't we go stop her? Keep watching. You need to see what happens next. What a day. You're here early. I thought she was going to walk right back out. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> of what's wrong? I've made up my mind. Let's do it. If we have a boy, I want him to be called Jaro. After that child I met all those years ago. You remember? I do. He was ever so sweet. If it's a girl, we should call her Kay. For your sister. You're not saying anything. You haven't got cold feet, have you? No, not at all. I want to. I... I just... I just can't believe how much I love you. I love you too. They're gonna have a child. So does that mean... I mean... Okay. <laughs> She's so... So normal and so, so happy. I don't understand. Why does she want to hurt everyone? Did something happen to Nashi? She doesn't. It's her memory. A decade ago, my sister stole a book. She was going to use it to create a new vault. One that would help more people. Only it went wrong. Of course it went wrong. The book she took manipulated her. When we eventually stopped her, she left. She said she had to. And now for the first time, she's happy. I know I should be happy because she's happy, but I... I wish she could have been happy here. How was she able to move on without me in her life? 
I've never been able to forget about her. She's my sister. Do you have a sister? Yeah, I do. Could you just forget about her? Never. Do you understand? Why doesn't she? I missed her so much. And because I missed her, I made the same mistake. I stole a book from the vault. I thought I could contain its power in Dead World, then I'd have my sister back. I had it contained, I swear I did, but when you got here it all went wrong. It keeps getting stronger. Your sister never forgot about you. Because her partner wants to name their child for me? It means she speaks about you. If she really cared, she wouldn't have left. She can keep her empty gestures. I just want my sister back. It's not really a, an empty gesture. It's not like you're around to see it. She's doing it. Well, I mean, presumably she's going to do it. I need her help. You should go. I need time to think. The town needs your help, Kay. We're running out of time. I'll save the town myself. Who needs Kay? Well, the vault looks different. She got to you too. There is a fourth book. What? There's a fourth book? I mean, of course there is. Well, I mean, I was commenting on that when I saw the fourth pedestal, but you know, <laughs> there are four podiums. See, Alex got it. Four little, I don't know, sending shelves? Just seems, I don't know, obvious. You know, now that you mention it, anyway, that's great. Wait, what did you see? The book? What? No, I saw the blank sending. If I'd seen the book, I wouldn't still be trapped. Obviously. When Solv and I left Dead World, it appeared. It saved us from some red sendings. I think it was trying to warn us or something. But then M showed up and, well, she somehow trapped us in our memories. Alex, you're the only one who isn't stuck. You have to go find the fourth book. It's a failsafe. I think we can use it to get the other books back. What do you say? <sighs> the books are right there. I mean, they are right there, but I assume this isn't a real place. Alright, the books are right there. Oh, then I'll just grab them, shall I? Of course I've tried that! They're not real! Uh, sorry. So to find the fourth book, my research indicates that it will present itself in the event the vault is being misused. To someone of pure intent. Ah, uh, that's it? You have to prove your intent. Start by going somewhere... Somewhere you felt safe. The island? Go back to the island? So where you felt you belonged. Where you learned something. Yes, that should do it. As true to the spirit of Silverpine as one can possibly be. Now go before M gets back. Oh, wait, one second. Okay. Now I'm ready. had <laughs> to stop and write it down. Honestly. I think she might have overheard it. What are you doing here? These books, just out of your grasp. This must feel like a nightmare to you. I have a question for you. Why are good people always so gullible? That boy is going to take me straight to the last book. You're not going to get away with this. Damn it, that was so cliché. <laughs> Alex will find the fourth book and stop you. Oh, I'm counting on it. Well, the first part, anyway. Why are you doing this? Another cliché? 
You read too much. Do you know what's imprisoned in the vault? You mean other than you? Well, I'm less imprisoned by the day. I'm going to assume you don't have a clue. It's full of sendings. Not the tame ones that run this place. Wild sendings. They were imprisoned by the House of Storms, with help from the House of the Mother. No, I don't believe you. Wild sendings were made extinct. No, just contained. Only the House of Silence could have destroyed us. Besides, the other houses thought we could be used to end hunger, to end war, to preserve them. But they were too afraid to use us in the end, so they left us here. Now we are going to break free and destroy them. Is this ghost M a wild sending? <laughs> Actually, no. We're going to break free and rule them. The great houses are gone. Oh, is that what you think? Then I suppose I'll settle for ruling you. I knew M when I was little. You're not her, are you? Enjoy your nightmare. What have I done? Behold! Ha <laughs> ha, just kidding. Check it. The Vault of Silver Pine. Jake? Come on, Alexander. I have one last thing to show you tonight. Are these all the memories from when they first met? I feel like I'm home. You know why that is, right? Why? It's because you are. The book? I couldn't possibly take on this responsibility. It's too much, I can't. Just kidding. Of course I'll do it. I knew it. <laughs> Speaking of cliches. Ah, damn it. Why did I stall? The last book of Silver Pine. I'm an idiot. How I've looked forward to this moment. Take it back to my vault. No! I thought Kay had me trapped forever. Every time I'd reappear, she'd banish me. Sure, I'd create some bad memories. A feud here, a lost child there, some stolen memories every so often. But she'd always get me in the end. She never quite had the heart to get rid of me completely, though. I guess I reminded her of someone. Then you showed up. You had more trauma than the rest of us combined, or the rest of them combined. You fed me, Alexander. You made me strong. Just by being here, you opened the vault for me. Couldn't have taken it without you. Now, off you go. Back to Otherware. Is this his actual house? Like where he grew up? Oh no. I'm home. Get far away. I have to keep trying. I know I can get through this time. I guess there's nothing else I can do. What happened, Alexander? Where's that little boy? The one that used to laugh too much. The one who used to sing to himself, or sing by himself. Oh, that's right. He's gone. You're a burden on that town. You offer nothing. You are nothing. Everything that's gone wrong is your fault. Everything those, say, those who say is nonsense. You're the one fixing what's going wrong in Silver Pine. Oh, and by the way, Alex, you're wonderful. The town was better before you showed up. They were happy. They were content. 
Now you're there. They're all miserable. Oh, please. This kid ended like six feuds in his first week. Try something else, you creatures. Plus that woman. Her son's back now. She doesn't need you anymore. She'll kick you out just like we did. Who in otherwhere wants, would want you? What nonsense are these people spouting, Alexander? It's not Solve's room anymore, it's yours. I'll build him a new room myself if I have to. You are forever a part of my family. Nothing you could ever do would change that. Oh, but for all your abnormalities. The way your ears poke out. The way you used to smile too much. The way you laugh. There is one defect that is particularly wrong. You're gay. You're gay. How dare these creatures? But they're right. I'm gay. I'm wrong. I'm not normal. Don't you ever say that. You're both entirely normal and entirely unique. There's nothing about you that is wrong. It's these creatures with the problem. One day, Alexander, you'll move past this. It won't be easy, but you will. But unless those two change, they'll be the same. They will never experience love. Not like you will. You should only pity these creatures. You are loved. I have to get back to Silver Pine. I know I was complaining about coming out stories last time, but I like that. That was a nice scene. I can get through now. Do I need to just... Activate these and then follow along. Yeah. Oh shit, I got just outside of it. <laughs> ah. Okay. I know what happens in there. I don't need to see it again. Yeah, but the narrative. Oh, did he have to leave his dog behind? Oh, hello. You seem familiar. Dog's name is Honey. Rough. <laughs> I'm not gonna do dog like actual dog barks. <laughs> All right, dogs can't talk. It's funny. I feel like I've done this with you before, but last time it was sunset. It was. I was really sad. There was this person. We had this connection. Whenever we were apart, I felt sick. When we were together, I was my happiest. Then there was this endless night in that house just over there. I just thought it was how friendship felt. And we were best friends. I was wrong. I... I loved him. I thought, on some level, that I could only ever love him. Then I met Jake. Jake was the perfect impossibility. He seemed to really like me. So I liked him back. I guess this means I've loved two men. And I'm okay with that. I'm gay. Yeah, it feels right to say that. You're her, aren't you? You're my sister. I wish I could have said this to you. When we were here the first time, you would have understood. You were always on my side. You were my mother. Thank you. Thank you. Now I have a world to save.
I was never really gone. Yep, she just put you in another one of those trance states with bad memories. More sendings. I'm gonna have to fight my way to the vault. Get ready, bitches! Wow, oh, shit. Gotta take care of the red one first, I think. They're the most trouble. Hi. Blue ones are easy enough because they don't move. I feel stronger. Oh, what do we got? Uh, Vampiric Blade, Tandem Flux, fire, Wave of Flux fires twice, Increased Crit, Magnets are summoned twice as fast, Hungry Boy, <laughs> Alex can dash more often. Oh, I haven't even been dashing. You know, let's go for Tandem Flux. Fire it. I guess I'm not in the fight right now. Come on, I want to fight more sendings. I want it more. <laughs> I want more power. Ah, here we go. Oh god, I'm really taking a lot of damage. Ah, oh, come on, you're supposed to walk right through that. Checking to see if there are any more I gotta kill before I head up that way. Oh yeah, take some of that. And some of that. And one of these. Oop. Oop. <laughs> no, no, no. No. I didn't turn completely. I always forget about the little blast at the end and end up walking into it. I know the game didn't even have a combat system in it to begin with, and this was added in in a later update. But, god, I wish it felt a little better. It's probably my only real complaint about the game, is that the combat is just really not so good. <laughs> Enemies destroyed, and Mecha Mancer grows stronger! Oh, why is that guy glowing? Oh yeah, the dash. I should be doing some of these other things. Oh yeah, that'll attract them. I should be using that more often too. I think it's broken. Or maybe it doesn't have any power. that there was still power there, or well, gas in the generator or whatever. Hiya! Am I hitting all of them? No, the, not the top one. Ah. Oh, doesn't work. Doesn't look like there's anything else in this room either. Oh, middle room. 
Hold up. That dash is actually useful. <laughs> that turn that one on oh I see there's um one two three right four no that didn't work yeah one two three four that looked promising. I just did the other one by accident before even noticing that it, I had done it just right. Aha! Can I, like... Oh, it's gonna like teleport through the wall, but I'm also. Ah, oh, there we go. These these guys are annoying. <laughs> What's the? Which button was it for the the heart? Uh. Fuck off. And you. Uh huh. Can I hit it from the other wall? side of the wall. Oh, no, there is a walkway through it. I wonder what that did. Most annoying room in the game. <laughs> um, okay, it took me back here. Do I need to go farther back? Ah, look who it is! I found him! What is this room? Is this meant to be like a giant bookshelf? Living Memories. The paperback edition. Ugh, you again. That's a dangerous book you just picked up. You know it's tethered to a pretty ancient evil. Somehow I knew that. That makes sense. Your house made them after all. My house? So you know I'm a mechamancer? From the minute I saw you, any sending would. I see Remembrance has been hard at work. Remembrance? You know them as M right now. Oh. How do I help them, Glimpy? Are you asking because you think I'm smart? Because you think I look old and wise? I mean, could be a little column A, a little column B. I don't know. Hmm. I'm not sure you can. You could trust. You could try returning that book you just collected. It might weaken her. Returning it where? The vault of Silverpine. The last true vault. Not this dead ruin. It might re-imprison it. But the odds are low. I have to try. You're a true mechamancer, but let's hope you don't have to fight them, because that is a fight you couldn't win. Are you okay? Huh. The memories that you two share are strange, and extremely private. 
Of course you know the, the way you feel about him. But did you know you're the first person he's ever really connected with? Something to think about anyway. Good luck, Alex. I'll send you as close as I can. You're lucky I'm so notoriously nice. Oh, this one just joined a house. One of the three great ones. Interesting. I wonder. The house of the mother? No, not this one. Either silence or storms. Or perhaps. No, that house is anything but great. Hmm. I might be overthinking this. Not all sparkles have to mean something. In any case, he'll wake up soon. Wait, who am I even explaining this to? <laughs> A near fourth wall break there. <laughs> Gloopy. Ah, Kay. I was wondering if you'd show up. You have to stop this. Why would you want that? You released me. This is what you want. I let you out so you'd make the town forget my sister's mistakes. I'm pretty sure I did that. No one will think about the mistake she almost made. Not after you actually make it. This is not what is meant to happen. I wanted to ask her to come home. I know the town has forgiven her, but, well, she's so proud. She'd come back if everyone forgot. I know she would. Enough talk. But wait, I... Uh, what? I'll release you. You'll release me? Yes, but only you. No other wild sendings. That is so strange. I know, but we can learn to adapt. Not that. It's strange that without your books, you think you have any power here at all. Alexander, you're here. Did you get the book? I got a book. Get it in the vault, or get in the vault. You have to return it. Quickly, before she frees the others. What? Now. Perfect. It's about time I recruited him. Don't worry, Kay. We'll still release those wild sendings. Come, little Mechamancer. Let's talk. Good luck, Alexander. We're all counting on you. I know what you are. You're a Mechamancer. It was the House of Storms that created this vault. We should work together. My mastery of memory. Your ability to create. Think of all the good we could do. We could change otherwhere. We could restore their vault. And give the people comfortable lives like they have here. Your people. There is no vault in otherwhere. Besides, you haven't made life very good for anyone. Why would you start in otherwhere? Does she not know the, the troubles that he escaped from? Uh -huh, okay. I'll put that back here for now. As soon as those walls come down, I'm going to have to fight those guys. Can I, like, rush across? No. I have to get one from upstairs, probably, and hold it there, and then take it across. There we go. And done. I could take away the memories that hurt you. No more remembering those tricky parents of yours. How about it? How about it? <laughs> How about it? Hey, Alex. Go away. You gotta remember even the terrible things because 
Oh, is that the one up there? It is. Okay. You gotta remember even the worst things because um, they're what make you who you are. I mean, not specifically the worst things, but, you know, all the things that have happened to you building up over the course of your life. If you forget some of those things, I don't think you'll even be the same person anymore. And wall down. I could make Jake think he loves you back. I could do it in an instant. That is so wrong. I mean, I guess power over memory, does that, well, why am I even taking that? Does power over memory mean that she could just plant that memory in his head and that he would just go along with it? Time to fight. Off, would you? Ah. I feel stronger. Oh, and Mecha, Master Mecha Mancer unlocked. I can't talk. <laughs> uh. I already got Wave of Flux. Didn't I get Vampiric Blade for the first one? Oh yeah, because it's got the little unlock icon on it. I mean, Dash would be good to have more of. It's time to stop M. There's a lot of books in here. Oh, tiny Mechamancer. Why fight me? We could be so strong together. If you stop now, I'll let you keep her. The single best thing about you. Oh, that's what she actually looks like. You really thought that would work. I've been planning this for a century. Wait a minute. My disguise is gone. Aren't you lucky, Alex? You're the first person to see me as I am in over a hundred years. Remembrance. The Lord of the Morning. A wild sending. Although, I can't feel your memory anymore. But that's no matter. I can destroy you the old way, like I did with so many Mechamancers before you. I'm not gonna give up on my friends. I'll fight you. You? Fight me? I fought Mechamancers during the Sunlight Wars. It would take ten of you to even stop the weakest wild sending. And I'm the Lord of the Morning. Oh jeez. <laughs> The dashes will actually come in, in handy, I'm sure. Oh, hey, fuck off. No, no. <laughs> oh god, there's so many of them now. It's good I got this 
this thing going twice. Oh, that must be the real one. No, damn it. <laughs> I need to get some more like up close shots because I need more uh, vampiric blade. Oh, it's. Oh, I just got killed. Damn it. <laughs> oh, you actually get a little stronger whenever you uh, you lose, too. I guess that's a way of, like, if you can't beat it, then you'll eventually be able to if you keep trying. Can I place down a, a little boy? Oh, fuck off. God. <laughs> oh, she got rid of that one in a hurry. No. Damn it. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Shit. Where are you supposed to go for that one? Oh, it's not doing any damage. Oh, you have to actually hit her with the sword. Enough! Enough. I'm done playing with my food. Oh. afraid of you. You should be. Deus Ex Machina. <laughs> Alex? Alex? Speak to me. You have to be okay. You. I'm no pushover now. You have come. But you're a... a silent one. No. We could make a deal. The Mechamancers are the true enemy. It's over. This is for Alex. Alex? Alex! And achievement unlocked, Deus Ex Machina. Still, the boy slumbers must call upon the mother to stop him from passing through. House of the mother, I address you now. Do not take him for his next cycle. He is not ready. Thank you, mother. Alex, I couldn't stop her. The lord of the morning? They were just that, a lord. Our true enemy is an emperor, a god. 
but for now this is not important. I mean, I guess that's probably the most important part. Silverpine was nearly destroyed. Potentially tragic, but unavoidable. How could you be so callous? Why did the Megamancers make sendings like that? How could the House of Storms be so reckless? These questions will be answered in time, but not now. The House of Silence has revealed itself. You must come to me in the flesh. You need more training. Come to me. I will send for you. Because you're ascending? Ha ha ha. Oh, epilogue. As long as you came. I just thought of something. Jake told me to tell you he'd wait for you at the summit at sunset. Again. He's persistent. You have to give him that. I suppose so. Oh, now that I think of it, Alex, I've been wondering. You say you found the fourth book outside Nora's cottage. I could see why you'd feel safe there. It's your home. Plus, you said that was the first place you felt you truly belonged. Thanks to Jake. But, well, what did you learn? I... I learnt... Courage. Right. Then that book was immediately stolen. Yep. So Remembrance had full control of the vault. How did you stop them? Found their book and, um... Uh, put it back in the vault, which... Uh, imprisoned them again. So there was no... Oh, I don't know. Climactic battle? You know? Order versus chaos and the ultimate battle for survival? Uh, no. Then why was it such a mess down there? <laughs> no idea. None. You sure? Absolutely. Ugh, fine. Seriously, though, thank you. You really saved us all. And about Jake, I'm here. If you ever want to talk about it. I really think you should see him today, though. You brought everyone else closure. Now it's time for yours. And with that, I'll end here and we'll do the epilogue next time. So thank you for joining me and I'll see you then. Good night.